Boba. Boba. <ride> Torta di ricotta al cioccolato. The quintessential Italian dessert. Ancora cioccolato. I am going to add chocolate and make it a chocolate ricotta cheesecake. So let's melt the chocolate here in a double boiler. We're going to add some heavy cream to that. I'm going to add some cocoa to it uh, because I want it extra chocolatey. You know, I said ancora cioccolato, more chocolate. And the importance is here that we get it all very smooth. Okay, so. Let's prepare a spring form, and we're gonna butter it well. All the corners and everything well. Add to it breadcrumbs. And the breadcrumbs could be breadcrumbs, could be panko, could be cookie crumbs, anything. And so you wanna get it all around just like that. You wanna make sure that every part is coated nice and well. Some eggs. Get the eggs first, sugar, and some salt. And let's get that going. So you want the sugar really to dissolve with the eggs and kind of whip up. We'll add the orange rind. You could add lemon rind, but I like the orange in it. Let's get that in there. Okay, and then we'll add the ricotta. The ricotta, you notice here, it's been draining. It's important that you get a nice kind of drier ricotta so your cheesecake is not too watery. So make sure that you drain the ricotta like that. And we'll put it right in the mixture. And it doesn't need all that much mixing because the ricotta is a little grainy and the cheesecake remains. And actually that's what I like in the ricotta cheesecake, that it has the texture. But now we're gonna make a chocolate. Let's add the chocolate. Hmm. It is all done. So we are ready to, to pour it right in. This is a cake that is quite easy. Certainly around the holidays, we make it all the time. So, 375 degree hot oven, and for about an hour, an hour and 15 minutes, until the sort of the, the wiggle kind of stops and it's, you see that it's solid. It will puff up and then it will fall down somewhat, but that's the way it is. So let's get it into the oven. At Becco, we use a couple of different ricottas. We make a ricottina cheesecake with ricotta and pastata and cream cheese. And we were making this same cake for 26 years. And people keep coming back because it's very consistent and people like consistency. Yeah, we do it seasonally. We change it up with topping sometimes. We make like a fruit compote sometimes. We use ricotta in cheesecake. We use it in raviolis. We use it in a cannoli. And we use about three to four different kinds of ricotta cheese. The cheesecake, it's ready. I let it cool at room temperature. And now we're ready to taste it. Let's cut a nice slice just like that. A nice, sharp, long knife will do. Just like that. Voila, you see how chocolatey and moist. Mm. So what would I like to decorate it with? Very simple, whipped cream and sweetened or unsweetened, depends. And just a dollop on top. And I like it when the whipped cream just kind of saddles the cake. Some chocolate, we said more chocolate. I like to drizzle the chocolate around the cake on top of the whipped cream. And you can always leave the chocolate, the sauce, the whipped cream on the side. People can always add more to it. Some toasted almonds. If you don't have almonds, you can use walnuts. 
hazelnuts would go great with this. So, this is the way I would simply serve it. And this is the way I think I'm gonna get myself a piece. Just like that. Whipped cream, yes. I like my whipped cream. Chocolate sauce, absolutely. Some toasted almonds. And I am ready. Today we did quite a few crowd pleasers. I'm quite pleased with myself. Are you pleased? Well, let me taste. Let's taste. Mmm. Really good, really good. And on that note, I want to invite you to Tia Tavola a mangiare. Access to videos and to get recipes, tips, techniques, and much more. Visit us online at lydiasitaly.com.